This is the D40 uh, Japanese astronomical telescope made by Kenko. And uh, I had a video introducing this and I wanted to show you the lens of this. Usually these brass telescopes, yeah. they're not good quality. This is the exception. And uh, I'll show you the inside because usually they keep the inside uh, they put the aperture stop inside the lens so practically you will not have uh, full aperture as you can see here this one doesn't have an aperture stop what you see here is a light baffle and is well retreated and the surface of the lens is also well corrected well covered with a you know kind of dark material inside of it is completely dark either and uh, made of a really good sturdy material it's all brass the lens size is quite unusual it's not a uh, Japanese style is less than that and uh, they are also equipped with this kind of screws that you can remove the lens and put it back really good quality probably from around uh, 1980s to 1980s this is the d40 the bigger one the d20 also um, but i prefer this one And this is how it looks like. And that's the oak tree in the question. And this is through the window as you can see. And when looking at this uh, telescope and through this telescope, you have to remember these are singlet. They have only one lens in there as the objective. They're not even an acromat. And for that, they have a lot of vibration. Probably most premium, one of the most premium small brass refractors I've ever seen. They don't make it anymore like that. This is once in a lifetime. I've not even wiped it since I've unpacked it. <laughs> Probably I should do it once. <laughs> 